Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're down at the garden center. I'm going to help do a little bit of setup. They've already started. In fact, I'm standing right in front of the nursery so that we can walk through and I'll just show you where some of the tables have been placed. There's already some beautiful plants out. But the real reason why I'm down here is that they are expecting their first load of spring color to arrive today. So I am just, I'm so excited to see fresh stuff, fresh plants, fresh color, and I thought you guys might like to see it too. So standing in the front, you can see Monica's back there. She's uh, grooming, are you grooming evergreens? Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, there is some beautiful stuff, look at this. This is a Helena witch hazel. Look at the beautiful color here. There's also an Arnold's Promise going for it right here. Look at that for late winter color. Such a bright pop and the blooms last for quite a long time. Now most of what we're seeing out here are some carryovers from last season. They're expecting their first load of bigger trees next week. We might be down here for that. That's always a fun day too. I love spring days where there's new uh, stuff coming in. That was one of my favorite times when I was down here working full time. It was uh, receiving new loads of plants or working at the seed counter measuring out seeds. I just really enjoy that as well. There's some gorgeous dogwoods, yellow and red twig. There's quite a lot of beautiful things out here. Yeah. Did you see that witch hazel in bloom? Yeah. The front. So, so pretty. pretty. I just noticed that today. It was kind of one of those situations where I was waiting for the phone call this week, knowing it was going to arrive. The truck was going to arrive at some point. And I got the call earlier today. So kind of just drop everything else and <laughs> it came on down. But if we look back this way, all of these black tables, uh, they're lining the shade house. They're out in the middle. They're also lining this building they will be full of roses usually there's uh david austin's on all of these tables here and then usually alongside the greenhouse there's hybrid teas and then you got uh, grandifloras and floribundas climbers over there and landscape roses i don't know if they're gonna organize it exactly the same way but that's what all the tables are for so you guys have some new concrete though we do yeah we're like really beautiful pottery we found at our buying show just a couple months ago, uh -huh. so it's fun. Nice. It's fun to get it out. Is that an open base? It is. We're gonna head back to the open shed just to see what kind of product we have to work with. Uh, we're just gonna work on moving some, some of it out, as well as maybe moving some trees out, um, getting some kind of bone structure of some of the displays set. And then once all the fluff arrives, it's, it makes it easier just to kind of place those things around if all the big stuff's moved first. Oh my, look at this. Those look like... Michael Carr. Oh, okay, yeah. Michael Carr pottery, yeah. Yep. I'm familiar. He's the one that, um, the aqua pots. Well, he's such a nice guy. We met him at the show. Did and you? yeah, beautiful stuff. Oh strawberry my. Strawberry pots. I don't think I've ever seen strawberry pots this big. It's kind of cool. Yeah, they are. I like that one, the teal yeah, kind of too. color. Oh, now this is my jam. We've got unique stone over here. A little bit. And there's <laughs> Henry. Uh -huh. Henry Studio. Mm -hmm. I see the leaf motif. Uh, is that what they're called still? Yeah, leaf motif planter and uh, what is that? Pillar? It's pedestal. <laughs> Couldn't think yeah. of that word. I have those right behind the Hartley flanking the door and I love them. Uh, <laughs> I, think I think those are pretty neat looking actually. Yeah. And gnomes, <laughs> gnomes go. Gnomes never go out of style. People always still want gnomes. Every time we get gnomes. This one's called Gnome of Drink. No. <laughs> this one is Gnome of Pity. Pity? Oh, there's a, um, a rose oh, with a tear. Oh. oh, that makes me sad. I don't that think I'd want to look sad. at that. No. So this stack right here, is that what it is? These right here? Yeah, these are sold to gotcha. City of Vail. Oh, gotcha. Those are like the ones I just ordered, except for a different color. Mm -hmm. This might be bigger. And apparently there's some arbors and things in the chemical, in the chemical shed. shed. So we're gonna go check out. Door. Oh, I forget there's a door back here now. Yeah. Oh, the moon arch. Bunch of obelisks. Oh yeah, those are big. That's where that one is. Inside, we have some of these put inside. Uh -huh. We might still be able though to place some of them around. Okay. I think these are put where our stakes are. Okay. This is fun. And then there's that arbor, and then all those obelisks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obelisk. All right, so I think we're gonna try to come up with a game plan and we're gonna start moving stuff. So I will try to capture as much of it as possible. Here we go.
the flowers just arrived. They're on that truck right up there. I don't think I'm needed out here. <laughs> Look, you guys. I see tulips and hellebores and pansies. There's hyacinths. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, and some primrose and sweet peas. <gasps> number two. Ooh, a lot more hellebores on this one. So usually with the first couple of loads, they're fairly small because, you know, you have to move them in and out, um, you know, in during the night and out during the day, and they all go on these racks right here. So until it warms up, the loads stay on the smaller side. These are super handy because you can wheel them out onto the front sidewalks for displaying and easily wheel them in at night. Oh, okay. you guys, look at this. <gasps> look at these open to the snow. Oh. Does it have little, any scent? A little tiny bit. Maybe it's, it's a little too chilly out. It's when, when it's cool. Yeah. Ooh, those yeah. are pretty. Yeah. I planted some orange ones like that, some bulbs. I can't wait to see oh, Orange ones? Oh, Oops. wow. Okay, so we're going to unload all of this onto the carts and then we'll do a little tour. All right, you guys, let's take a slow stroll through all of these beautiful things. You can see where they're all located, right on the front and sidewalk in front of the store. And we'll just start on this end. There's some beautiful hellebores and they're just all scattered throughout. We tried our best to organize, but you know, I don't think it even matters this time of year. Just seeing color is awesome. So this is a hellebore called Ice and Roses Frosted Rose. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a creamy chartreuse with the pink margins. And then there's an Ice and Roses Brunello. The color on this one. I just, I love it because it's such a good contrast with the leaf color. So even though these have nodding blooms that don't face, you know, straight upward, they still look like blooms, you know? My mom calls them shy flowers, which I think makes them extra sweet. There's a hellebore called Rosetta. These are awesome, huge. Same thing, the back side of these look like more colorful than the front. Right below those, some violas. There's the rose color. This is one of my favorites, the Penny Primrose Bicolor. This one's a deep orange. I also love this one, Sorbet Pink Wing. This just looks like Easter. Oh, this is the Icy Blue. Penny Yellow. There's the Penny Blue. This is the Frizzle Sizzle Mini Mix. Look how sweet those are. Just a mix of different colors. There's the Penny White. There's some Ranunculus Red and Yellow. And then there's a couple of smaller container hellebores. There's the Wedding Party Maid of Honor and the Honeymoon French Kiss. These don't have color on them yet. Plants look super healthy. There's some Vinca. So there's the Bowls variety right here, just the classic with the purple flowers. The Illumination. And that does look illuminated with its super bright yellow variegation. And you can see the purple buds right there. There's also the Vinca uh, Alba. It's got the white blooms. I love that one. And then there's some bulbs. There's the white pearl. Look at this bud. White pearl hyacinth, the tulip, the negrita right there, which is a beautiful clear pink. And then a couple varieties of primrose. This one is Scarlet Red Shades and this one is Primlet Sunrise. I love this. And then a whole cart of hellebores. Oh my goodness. 
So this is the Ice and Roses Rose right here. Look at the color. Oh, and the bloom size is massive. That's huge. This is the Ice and Roses Rose again. This one is called Bianco. Look at that backside, kind of that mauve pink and cream, and then a more clear colored front side. Oh, I really like that one. This one's called Shooting Star. So you can see it's got more frontward facing blooms. Ooh, what is this one? This one's called Rosado. Oh, I love that color. That looks a little bit more saturated, but there's a little bit of white. It's like the reddest overlay over the white. So it's got kind of a metallic silvery glow quality. And then there's the Picketty right here. These are more of the Picketty. And then there's another flat. This is the Maid of Honor again. There is a bud on that one. These are the Monte Cristo right here. And you can see that these have blooms that face more upward and a whole bunch of daffodils. Then there are different varieties here. There's the Bell Song that have the peach colored cup in the center. There's the Jetfire, which are the clear yellow kind of mini uh, blooms. More Jetfire and more Bell Song right here. So on this cart, Sweet Peas, there's the Beaujolais right here. We grew this last year uh, from seed. Early Multiflora mix. There's the Knee High mix right here and High Scent. I love that one. And then some gorgeous primrose. There's kind of a mix, a giant cream is what this one's called. Another mix of warm shades. And then this one is called Heather Zebra. Look at the stripes on that. That just, that looks unreal to me. And then I think these hellebores are repeats of the varieties we just saw. Yeah, that's the Baro Barolo. Did we see this one? Saw one that was so similar. Oh, so pretty. I'm glad the rain waited until we were pretty much done getting the flowers out, starting to pick up. On this cart, we've got more hyacinths, the pink pearl, gypsy queen, beautiful apricot color, purple sensation. Oh, starting to open. Uh, we've got blue pearl and more tulips. There's Calgary, which is the pure white. Uh, more of the Negrita and then the King's Blood, which is a red. Oh, and that hellebore right there, that's called early red. You can see those blooms. Those are pointing up and to the side. Mahogany Snow. Oh, this one is Merlin. Again, another one where blooms will face upward. And the very last cart here, hellebores again, repeat of some of the same varieties with lots of nice color. I already know exactly what I'm gonna grab off of those carts before I head home, but I wanna walk you through what we ended up getting done out here. We only had maybe a couple hours before the truck showed up to get pots moved. So I'm happy though with how much we got out. Starting here in the front, we kind of cleared this area out on one side of the greenhouse so you could see the whole greenhouse and moved the blue pots, some of the blue pots right up here. And those make for a pretty striking look right here. They just kind of grab your attention especially when you pair them with the yellow twig dogwoods. These are the Arctic fire yellows right here. I have these in my garden and I love, love them. Looks really good with blue and really good with that Arnold's Promise witch hazel. And then we brought up the leaf motif urn with the pedestal. I think these are the perfect size for this greenhouse. And I think these would look really sweet planted up with some of those new violas. Oh, I forgot to mention, we did bring up a purple robe locust, which has wisteria-like panicles of blooms, like early in the summer, and we brought up a few more pine trees. And then, just beyond this display, we brought up the rest of the blue pottery. They fit beautifully on this table right here. I like seeing them at all different levels, just kind of makes your eye move through the display. And then if we swing to the right, you can see a little display of red pottery. We didn't have time to really move plants around because this is about when the truck showed up. Uh, but that really contrasts the wall nicely. And then we ended up right over here. You can see these two other random red pots. This is where uh, we had to stop. There are more red pots in the back uh, in that pile of pottery back there. And they'll bring those out later on. But a couple other things that were moved out is the moon arch. And then my mom was working on moving out these really beautiful obelisks. Oh, they're so pretty. So that's pretty much all we got moved out here, but moving pottery, it takes time. 
um, you know, going back and forth. Thank goodness for the forklifts, but still you don't want to overload the pallet. You don't want the pots to be touching. You have to drive super slow so that nothing, you know, knocks against each other and cracks, but I'm really, really pleased with that. Now we're gonna grab our couple things off the cart and there's one other thing I wanna show you inside that I think is super sweet. Okay, this is the first thing right here. We gotta have these and these. That is gonna be my take from the load today. I thought I would end up with a bunch of hellebores, but I already have a few in the greenhouse and I'm not quite ready to plant it out more. I need to clean up the ones in our flower bed first. So I will be back down later to collect some of those, but these ranunculus and the violas will look beautiful in some containers at home. Okay, so in here, I just wanted to show you some Easter stuff because they were putting it out when I got here and I thought it was so cute. So look at this cute carrot wreath and the bunny, the light up egg tree, the pillows, but my favorite thing, if we come over to this side, you can see these sweet egg topiaries with the blue ging is that gingham, is that what they call it? Bows. And these are bright. Like, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but they are, they, those lights are bright. I think they're so cute. Oh, also, I forgot to show you these little ceramic bunny containers. Aren't those cute? I think you could use this as either a vase or you could put some succulents in there. It'd be super sweet on an Easter table. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's project. It was super nice to be down here for the afternoon. Just feeling that spring energy, especially when you see the first fresh plants arrive. It's just going to amp up from here and that's a good feeling. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.